Hello everyone, I'm the Clark Knight, and this is my weekly gaming news. So, first up, there's a new Pokemon Go Water event, which is going on from now to the 29th. So, if you're still missing Pokemon like Lapras, Squirtle, even if you want to get some new ones like Totodile, then feel free to go out and get those today. Along with that, we've been seeing Pokemon like Shiny Magikarp appear more often, which people have been very excited about, the first Shiny in Pokemon Go, which is no surprise because Gyarados, Red Gyarados, has been traditionally like the first Shiny people get in Pokemon Gold and Silver and whatnot. But also that there's going to be Magikarp hats, which pretty much you just get for free, so not much uh, to earn there, but still, pretty cool thing Pokemon Go is doing. So the next piece of news is Outlast 2 is unbanned in Australia, and there was no board that was like, oh, this game is banned, but the classification board, which gives out ratings in Australia, said, we're not going to rate this game, it is too, uh, has too much sexual violence, and we are not going to give it a rating. So what this does mean for Outlast 2 when they said this is, since it does not have a rating, uh, therefore it cannot be sold in Australia so they weren't outright banning the game but they weren't giving it a rating so it couldn't be sold so which makes it really weird that all of a sudden they changed their mind here it's been a while since Outlast 2 released so I wonder how this is going to affect the sales in Australia if it would have came out initially with this rating but I'm just kind of frustrated at the board because if they're trying to make a point that it shouldn't be sold they should have stuck to their guns and if they didn't really care that much they should have just let the game be sold and have a greater impact than it would have been sold like say a month down the line. So the next piece of news is kind of a big one in my eyes because it involves a YouTuber. It's JonTron from the JonTron show and get, used to be on Game Grumps. Uh, he was kicked off the project Ukulele. For those who don't know, Ukulele is this kickstarted game, it's supposed to be reminiscent of Banjo-Kazooie, and it's made by Platinum Games, so this is going to be a pretty big release, and JonTron was originally voice acting on it. Platinum released a statement saying they were going to remove him for racial comments that he had made previously. So Platonic Games said, Platonic is a studio that celebrates diversity in all forms and strives to make games that everyone can enjoy. As such, we deeply regret any implied association that could make players feel anything but 100% comfortable in our game world, uh, or distract from the incredibly goodwill and love shown by the fan and Kickstarter fan. So that lengthy quote is pretty much them saying, we're gonna cover our asses here. Uh, just in case a lot of people interpret uh, JonTron's quotes as racial, we don't want him in the game. And I don't blame them because this is a big uh, time for them. They're about to release and it's a potentially like record selling game uh, for the Kickstarter community. I think this is going to be one of the biggest Kickstarter games ever and you don't want anything negative ruining it. So you pretty much just have to cover your ass at every point that you can. With that being said, I think Platinum did do the right things. I don't know if these statements were uh, intended to be negative, but I am glad that Ukulele will be coming out. I'm excited for that game, and that's all I got to say. So the big news is Game Freak is now hiring, which means Pokemon for the Nintendo Switch is probable. There are positions posted on the Indeed job recruiting website, which include the titles, new title screen character modeler, and new character designer. On the website for one of the positions it's also listed that you need experience with the PS4 Vita or with the Wii U. In my opinion this is someone who's looking for something with experience that's not a 3DS so that's kind of implying hey I think they're going towards the Switch and also when the Switch came out Pokemon Company released a statement they will be fully behind the Nintendo Switch and would love to make a game for them. And these positions do imply a new Pokemon design, so I think if they did add like a third uh, game to the Sun and Moon line, then they'd probably add a new Pokemon as well. I'd predict something like a new God, like a new Tape uh, on the islands. But yes, both contracts are scheduled to end May 2018, so you can expect the project will at least be done by then. So this was a short news week. My game recommendation this week would be Clash Royale. It's a free to play mobile game. Pretty much you got your troops going against the other troops. You try to take each other's towers. It's really easy once you get into it. The cards are fun. And I believe today they released two on two mode. So if you got a friend, you can do two towers battling against the other team's two towers. 
I just love this game, I play with my friends, and I couldn't recommend it enough. So that's my game recommendation this week. But thank you all for watching, I really appreciate it, I love doing these new shows. Uh, second edition went swimmingly, and I will see you guys in the next video. If you like this kind of stuff, feel free to subscribe to my channel, all the support helps, and I will see you next time. <laughs>